Hello everybody, my name is Uber and I welcome back in Dying Light. Now, previous episode was a very interesting one, also very, very long, right? And very shitty. It was by far the shittiest episode that we've seen. And I think that might be a definition of situation when shit hits the fan and the breeze is flying all over you. God damn it. So, to conclude what happened, we lost Zir, that's shitty, but also Rais lost his hand, that's quite good. Uh, we lost Rahim, uh, and that was very shitty, but we destroyed that uh, volatile nest, beautiful. Uh, because of that, that we lost Rahim, that wasn't our fault and so on, but screw it. Right now Jade hates us, probably, something like that. So that's very, very shitty. Something else happened? Uh, I don't think so. And that's it, I think. Oh, we met our first demolisher. That was beautiful. The, 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 the shittiest possible zombie that you can get. The, the strongest one, that's for sure. But also a very shitty one. And something else? I don't think so. We had that beautiful chase scene when I was dying a few times because there were just a shit ton of rice guys uh, waiting for us on every fucking corner but we managed to do it. And right now the game is telling us two things about time that are very important but not really. First of all, uh, GRE all right now Ministry of Defense, I believe it was, Told us, that, told us that we've got 48 hours till they bomb the city. Okay? And I can guarantee you right now that I spent way too much than two days in this game after that. Uh, it was more like two weeks, something like that. After we escaped, uh, after we escaped from Raiz uh, Pit, I believe that location was called, Brecken told us that drop stopped 36 hours ago. So, 36 hours ago, that means that probably from that 38 hours that we're supposed to, uh, you know, we were supposed to have before they would bomb the city, we already uh, managed to use 36 hours. So, in theory, after finishing that quest with Raiz, we should have only 12 hours before bombing. Of course, that didn't happen, right? Also, um, Brecken told us that right now we should get the fuck out of here to Sector Zero. Uh, first of all, because we are supposed to find Jade. That's a good idea. Uh, because we would like to find her. But also, because of what we did to Raiz, we should get the fuck out of here. Because it's not safe here. And that's also bullshit, because you can just run around. That's not, pro not a problem. What is shitty, and why you probably would like to move to the other area, is that airdrop stopped. As Bracken told us, right? So right now you don't have that beautiful boost to survival level, and b because those drops aren't coming, right? I don't know, I don't remember how much each drop is giving you, but also, it also depends on if you will be the first one to catch it, or the second one, right? If there will be rice guys uh, guarding that. But it was pretty important for leveling us up. Between the episodes, I did few things. I was running around and so on. As you can see right now, we've got agility level that we can uh, spend. And I think that we'll go with that. Uh, because that will give us uh, ability to run longer, climb, qu climb quicker. God damn it, words are hard today. And we'll gain agility faster. Beautiful. That seems like a good idea. In here, I don't really know what I would like to pick up. I guess we can... We can go with that. I'm just not sure. Uh, okay, okay. I think that we might go with that, or we might want to save that later. Uh, because right now we are at level 15, what is a look in level 16? Basically nothing. Uh, so right now we are supposed to just get something. Okay, so let's go with that. Screw it. 
Uh, we've got uh, one more weapon that I picked up. So I picked up, modified, crafted, and so on. We've got Highlander Hatchet that is modified. Uh, so we've got uh, both... Uh, how, to, how to put it? We are dealing more damage with bleeding and more damage with poison. And of course more damage just like normal damage. And that is very cool, but because I was, um, you know, running a little bit between the, between the episodes, I was mainly using that weapon, I, and, and I believe that we had that in the last episode, I think. Uh, but yeah, I picked up quite a lot of weapons because I was finding quite a lot of rice people. I was looting quite a lot, so yeah. Right now we've got we got forty nine thousand dollars in our pocket, almost fifty thousand. And right now we can just buy everything that we want. So right now if I see a good weapon that I would like to pick up, like that Highlander hatchet, then I'm just buying that. And that's it. Now going back to the shitty situation, why I would like to move from this location to Sector Zero is, as I said, we are not getting drops. But there are few locations in this uh, area that drops are, well, uh, respawning. So I'd like to show you one of those locations. I believe there are a few of them. I might be wrong about it. But if you go here, uh, I would like to show it to you on the map. If you will go right here, so here is tower. Uh, here is that final substation that we powered up. Uh, if you will go right here, there's airdrop sitting in that uh, pond. Uh, or what is left from the river. And there are constantly drops showing up here, respawning. So that is disaster relief on site package. That is the the thing that you are bringing to quartermasters. And that is medical supplies that is giving you one med kit. Uh, this location is very shitty because if you will go in here, am I talking about the right location? Yeah. If you'll go right here, that is volatileness. One of the side quests is sending you here. And because of that, I will not go here without that side quest active. Because that is just a waste of our time. <laughs> so, yeah, right now we don't have that boost of survival points, survival levels, with airdrops. But that will not stop us from finishing up a little bit more of the. Uh, side quests in, in slums uh, because I would like to finish them up before we move to sector zero at least few of them so I think that I would like to go with school because that is quite an in god damn it quite an interesting quest okay oh, come on let's go so, but first we would go Shit. Oh shit. Oh come on. But first we'll go for that battery. And that is on bridge. And yeah, that will be very interesting. Oh, that will be very interesting quest to do, so. Oh, who is in need of our help? Again. Get the fuck out of here. Beautiful. Where is that survival? Where the fuck are you? Somewhere higher? Why there are so many virus coming our way? Okay, okay. Where the hell are you? Somewhere down below. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. Now help me fend off those virus coming. Oh, look at that. Nice. Come on. Excuse me. Okay, screw you then. I don't care anymore. Okay, okay. let's find first that battery, because later we'll be going to the school. Oh, how did he die? Later we'll be going to the school. I believe that Kurt is on our way to the school from that battery. So we will be able to to do it quicker, I believe. We'll see. Okay, okay, let's go. 
and I believe he's talking he was talking about that truck. And of course there's that guy that is spitting at us. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. Hello. Oh, look at that. Nice. And I would like to go up. What do we have here? Uh, let's see. Hello, how are you doing? Oh shit, fire are coming probably. Thank you. Uh, okay, okay, that one is almost gone. Uh, okay, okay, let's see. Let's search that up. Beautiful. Let me just search that guy. Let's get out. Okay, okay. And now we've got to go to Kurt. Oh, get out of here. Now we've got to go back to Kurt. And we are supposed to give him that battery. And I believe that he will also require something else from us. I don't remember that exactly. Hello, hello. I got your battery, Kurt. Okay, so we've got the casing. Next, I'll need some metal scrap from the junkyard to use for shrapnel. After that, I need sugar and some cables. Try the shops or warehouses. Bring them back, and you'll get a bomb that'll blast a hundred infected at once. Sold. Okay, okay, I believe I've got those parts. This should take care of the shrapnel. Good job, Crane. Are these cables all right? Mm, they'll do. And? We don't have any household supplies. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okie dokie, screw it then. Let's go to school right now. Uh, let's go and I believe, I believe they're also at school, right? Uh, yep. So we'll just go there. And I think that in school we'll have a little bit of time to uh, to look around and loot the, the, hell out, the hell out of this location. So I think that we might be able to find a little bit of household supplies. Okay, okay. But right now we are going to school. A very shitty location, I would like to remind you. Uh, let's see, one of our quests is in up here. Nope, down here. Okay, okay, screw it. Generally speaking, we just get to go here. What the hell? Okay, okay, we've got Tolga and Fatim here. Let's go. Hey boys, what are we into this time? Do you understand what a battery is? Tolga, you're overwhelming him! <sighs> Inside the engine compartment of a bus is a heavy rectangle. I know what a battery is. Okay, we need bus batteries with marine grade plates and rated at 1300 CCA or better. CCA means cold cranking amps. Obviously. That's a pretty big battery. Yes, easily 50 to 55 kilograms each. That's equal to uh, several large rocks. He's American. The metric system makes him angry. We will need three of them. Oh, <laughs> you can use your brute strength. We know you primitives are keen to show how strong you are to demonstrate physical prowess. You think it will attract females? Ugly and stupid. What else does he have? Oh, how does he live like that? Who knows? You have your instructions. Go do your uh, interpretation of them. Amazing. I just love working with them. Okay, thank you. Let's. Praise. What? Hello. I just want to talk. Try listening. The first bullet goes over your head. The next one goes through it. Stop it, Edward. You don't want to scare off someone who might be willing to help us. We don't know this arsehole from a plate of falafel. Don't argue with me. Let him in. Seems Errol wants to talk to you. There won't be any trouble. Do I look worried? Scared to death. He's perceptive. Come in. Come in. Let's come in. I'm Errol. Kyle Crane. This is my niece, Salier, and her son, Aaron. Do forgive Edward, but he's completely right to be worried. We are being pursued by some very ruthless men. There's something oddly familiar about you. There should be. The campaign spent a lot of money putting my face all over town. Of course, you're Errol Asani, governor of the province. 
governor of nothing, but Rise has decided that any political figure is a threat to him. So he's ordered my execution. They nearly killed me once already. That's how I lost my leg. And it seems they haven't given up. A squad of his thugs has tracked me to my last safe house in the slabs. Edward was just there. He says they're searching the area. It's only a matter of time before they show up here. Oh, sounds like you got quite a problem. I would pay you very well to resolve it. Hey, you know, people say that a lot to me. Trust me. What I can offer you can't be found anywhere else. At any price. And I'll think about it. Okie dokie. We can do it, no problem. And I think that in this location we can find crayons. Exactly. Uh, I don't remember how many we need, but not exactly what I've been looking for. And that's our player stash, nice. Uh, so this is just our... Uh, that is just right now our uh, safe zone, so we can use it. Okay, okay, something else. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay, come on, give me just a few more crayons, I believe. Another note, amazing. Not that I will check that out or anything like that. Uh, so far, someone needs help? What the hell was that? Crayons. Four out of five, god damn it. Uh, I believe that they might show up after we finish up that quest. I'm not goddamn sure about it, but I think that's the case. So, yeah. Okie dokie, let's see what are the other quests. And go to slabs and main bus station. That's, that's a very interesting location, but maybe let's go first to slabs. That will be a very interesting quest in terms of learning a little bit more story of well Raiz and his servants, let's let's call it that. Of course if I remember correctly what is going on there. That might not be the case, of course. Okay now okay, let's go. Okay now okay, up here we go. Slabs is a very interesting location, that's for sure. Those are just those big concrete buildings right here. And I don't remember what we were doing in here on that quest. Uh, let's see, we're checking out some kind of basement, I believe. Oh, come on. Oh, come here. Beautiful. Let's see. We should be looking somewhere around here. Hello, guys. And I believe that's somewhere... God damn it, not here. I believe right around the corner. Here? Nope. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Let's move. Oh, right here. Kareem on the radio. Yep. Come on, volatile. I mean, the viral something. Okay, okay. Let's take out the big guy. Okay, okay. What you would like to do right now? What the hell was that? Hello? Would you like to do something? Okay, okay, let's lure them right there to that oil leak. Beautiful. Come on, guys, it's pretty nice there. Nice and hot. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh, let's camouflage in that one. Oh god damn it. Shit. Let's go. Beautiful. 
Okay, oh, come on, let's go. Oh, come on. Just die already. Let's go. Nice camouflage. Beautiful. Let's pick up what we can and let's see. Let's search it out. Don't you worry about my status. Okay, one of them will be holding a radio. Let's go. You get lost. Get your asses back here then. Gabriel's a state five. Come in through the basement. Oh, okay, okay. Nope. That's not Ozan. Okay, okay, let's see if I remember correctly where we have to go right now. Gabriel F uh, Estate 5. Well, shit, I was trying to do something exactly not like that. Uh, okay, okay, let's see. Through the basement and here. Nope. God damn it. Where the, where the hell is that? Okay, okay. Of course, we've got big guy. Uh, that basement entrance. God damn it. I feel like I remember where that is, but all those slabs are looking exactly the same. Okay, okay. Hello, zombies. Quite a lot of zombies in here. Oh, come on. Crane, let's run. Through the basement we go. Let's see. I think that's here. Let's see. Uh, yep. Let's get inside. Something was chasing us. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Something else that would like to do. And you can look around. Nope. Nope. Okay, okay, there is some kind of gas leaking. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. We can loot something here. Okay, okay. Of course, going into the basement of, you know, some kind of old building. Well, not old building. Going into the basement where there is zombie apocalypse happening is probably a very shit idea. Oh, household supplies, exactly what we needed. And another one. Beautiful. And what's what is interesting in the location that I uh, spent quite a lot of my childhood. Uh, I was quite a lot. I was spending quite a lot of time in that kind of basement because, well, we were storing quite a lot of stuff there uh, where we lived. Okay, I think that brick will be my friend. Cannot go into into this location. That's shitty. That's very shitty. But we've got our beautiful bricks, so nothing will stop us right now. Let's go. Brick is our friend. I'm so sure about that. Okay, okay. Someone here. No one here. Hello, guys. <laughs> Oh my god! Beautiful! Okay, okay. Nice. Oh, come on, I was trying to finish you! Okay, okay, let's heal up. Okay, okay, they are, they are very powerful. They managed to survive the brick. And they weren't able to survive. But they weren't able to survive. Uh, sword to the face. Someone else? Not really. Okay, okay. Let's search them up. They might have some cool stuff on them. Or not really. Okay, okay. And nothing else that we can pick up. Nowhere else that we can go. Okay, okay. Let's pick up our great friend, the brick. And let's go. Quite a lot of zombies screaming. Beautiful. Hello, someone here. And a loot. 
Not really. Okie dokie, let's go. Okie dokie, brick. Wait there. Why I will check out what we've got here. <gasps> Beautiful. So, right now we can go continue our big bank fear request. Nice. Something in the toilet. Let's see. Plastic. Could have been better, but alright. Okay, okay, let's pick our brick. Our best friend. Although we are moving very, very slow. Hello. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Beautiful. That's it for them. We've got one. Okay, then, okay. Let's have fun then. And if he is using some kind of distance weapon, if he's throwing something at us, then I'm sure that we can do something else uh, with him. Let's go. Yeah, that grenade was a very, very good idea. Okay, then, okay. let's pick up what we can from them. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Where are those bodies? We've got one here. Yeah, that explosion was very, very powerful. Okay, okay, nice. Let's see something else that we can check out here. Not really. That br that brick stick to the wall. God damn it! We are very powerful. Okay, okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. The upper floor, huh? Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Nice. But also, game is telling us that we can do something here. No, not really. We've got to go through here. Let's use our brick. Okay, okay. Let's go up. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay, okay. Come here, my friend. Let's see. We'll be able to throw that right there. I doubt it, but that was very close. I I know that it's premium quality content right now, but screw it. I want that brick up there. Okay, that kinda works. Interesting. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. God damn it, how was that even supposed to work? Okay, okay, let's see. Are we supposed to go here? Okay, okay, let's leave that brick right now. Let's see, I don't remember where we are supposed to go. Oh, that will be for sure the way up. So probably something that we'd like to do. Beautiful. Let's see something around here. Oh. Oh, something around here, that's for sure. Uh, okay, okay, dried fruits, nice. Something around here, not really. Uh, okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. And that's it. That's it. Okay, okay, so let's grab our good friend Brick. Let's go up those stairs. Of course, we cannot run with that brick. We are superhuman crane, but we cannot run with that brick. Okay, okay, that's all right. Can we open that door? Uh, nope. We cannot open that door. Okay, okay, so probably we've got to go somewhere for the apartments. Let's see. Okay, uh, okay. Kareem, it's Crane. Drop your weapon or you're dead. What the hell's your problem? This doesn't concern you. 
Sorry, Kareem, but Errol Asani is my concern. You're working for him? <laughs> You're a fool. I was his bodyguard, okay? After everything got fucked up and they built the wall, we got overrun. He got bitten on the leg. I took him to Randall, the only doctor I knew in the slums, and we cut it off, clean. It was the only way. He would have turned if we hadn't done it. But the stubborn bastard never forgave us. So, we parted ways. So why are you trying to track him down now? Early on, the authorities evac'd all the political bigwigs out of the zone. Errol told us there was a chopper on the way to take us out with him. Then he got bitten. And with all the shit that happened after that, we missed the flight. But after you turned on the transmitter, we heard Errol asking for evac. And a couple of days ago, somebody responded. From outside. The old bastard's got a flight out, and I want a seat on it. All right, what about Rice? Does he care about this guy? Not a rat's ass. This was my business. I just want to get out of Haran. Yeah, well, looks like you won't be making that flight, huh? That had already dawned on me. But I'd like to walk out of here. Look, if I see you again, I'm gonna assume the worst. You got it? Fair enough. Good luck, Crane. You're going to need it. Okie dokie, so we already see that Karim is not really too happy working with Reis. Probably. Okie dokie, so right now we've got to get out of here. And we would do it with the help of... Oh, that door. Okie dokie, nice. So right now we've got to leave that building, beautiful. Okay, okay, so we learned quite a lot more stuff about what happened to Errol, what happened to Karim, and why uh, there will be few things happening later that I don't want to spoil you right now, but will be pretty important story-wise. And because of that, it's very important to do this quest right now, because game developers thought that will be just and uh, doing the side quest first and then we'll be doing the main quest. But if you will do it, do it all the all the other way around, then quite a weird thing is happening. But screw it, I will not spoil you what is going on. Okay, okay, back to the school. Okay, okay, let's see how we go here. Can we just walk through here to those guys? Not really. Shit. Okay, okay, let's go through the roof then. Okay, okay, that roof will be also pretty important later, but screw it. Oh, crayons. Beautiful. That's all of them, right? Nope. Okay, okay. Two out of five? What? What? Okay, okay. Let's go back in. Those respond. Oh, that's very weird. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, but I would like to right now return to Arrow. Oh, he's right here. God damn it. Did you find them? Yeah, I did. Kareem's take on losing your leg was a bit different than yours. So, you talked to him. Edward was right. You do talk too much. You should leave the talking to people like me, and I'll leave the killing to people like you. However, Kareem was my bodyguard. He allowed me to get bitten, but I don't really blame him for that. Hey, he saved your life. By hacking off my leg? The morning I was bitten was the same day they began dropping suppressants. You understand? I told him the antigen drops would begin within hours. All they had to do was wait. Instead, he listened to that idiot doctor of his, and Karim held me down as the butcher chopped off my leg. Now he thinks I should fly him out of here. Yeah, well, I told him that's not gonna happen. You should have killed him! How about you leave the killing to people like me, huh? Quite right. I can get you out of here, Crane. Maybe I like it here. More likely you've made your own arrangements. Well, they won't work. You've been bitten. 
I can see it in your eyes. You'll never get past the NCOR quarantine. Past what? You see, you have no idea what's going on in the real world. Whoever you think you know, they're not political. And that's the only thing that's going to work now. You don't believe me? Then think of it as an ace up your sleeve. A backup plan. In case you haven't noticed, things don't always work out the way they're supposed to in this town. All right. If I'm interested, what happens next? Two things. The first is we need to paint some markers on the rooftop. There's no paint around here, so you'll have to go out and find some. And the second thing is... Well, let's just say you'll be leaving here in a better way than when you arrived. Oh no, now, the paint. Go find some paint. There... Nearby. You should look there. I'll tell you the next task when you've completed the first. Trust me, you're going to be very satisfied with the outcome. Okay, okay, have you finished? Okay, thank you. Let's get out of here. Finding that paint is a very shitty quest. Uh, because you've got to look for a very specific and very small object on a very, very large occasion. It is hidden in some very large occasion. That is right here, on that construction site. Okay. Okay, okay. Hello, guys. How are you doing? I think that you would like to talk, you know. Uh, with fire. That is the only language that I know when I would like to talk with you guys. Okay, okay. Hello, guys. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, okay. Nice. Oh, no. Survival now. Okay, okay. Let's heal up. We've got one vial coming our way. Beautiful. Come on. Is that it? Okay, okay. Let's survive or die. That's shitty. But I was expecting that to happen, of course. Oh, come on, Crane. It's not that bad. I only cared about the loot that we would get from those guys. Okay, okay, let's see, where is your weapon? Where is your weapon? Okay, right here. And let's see, inventory full. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, okay, let's go with that. Okay, okay, and... Oh, here is the last one. Let's go. Okay, okay, so paint. We are talking about paint. One of the cans of paint is here. Uh, let's see, let's run around. Okay, dokey. Let's go. The other one is somewhere around here. Do I remember that correctly? Uh, let's see, let's change to grappling hook. Oh shit. Thank you very much. Let's go up. Let's go up. And there should be somewhere in here another can of paint. Let's see. Oh, someone would like to catch us, that's for sure. Okay, okay. Let's see another one. I, I don't really remember where those cans were. I think that one of them. Where the hell that vial went? It dropped down. Okay, that is screwed. One of the cans is uh, in here. We got zombie statue. Beautiful. And of course, inventory full. Okay, okay. Let's just go with that. Let's pick that up. Let's also destroy that right away. Okay, okay. Let's see. Nope. Nope. It is. Okay, okay. Let's see. Here we've got another can, and one of the cans is hidden somewhere. 
Oh, right here. That is a very shitty location to to look around. Okie dokie. Because most of the people aren't really looking from the roof down on that scaffolding. So they they don't really know where to where to look for that paint. Right now we are going to the roof and we are supposed to write down our message. Nice. Beautiful. Good thing that we've only got that red paint. Imagine how shitty it would look when every letter was with different color of paint. Okay, okay, beautiful. Now down we go to arrow. Hello, hello. Oh, come on. I'm back. All right, the roof's been painted. Good. Now there is one last thing. There's a duffel bag in a locker on the second floor. I'd like you to bring it to me. Since you'll probably open it, there's no point trying to hide the fact that there's 24.7 million dollars inside it. One third of it is yours, if you can bring it back. Why doesn't Edward get it? Uh, there are too many biters there. I can't risk losing him. We'd be completely defenseless. And this money's yours? Most of the bank's depositors are no longer human. Stealing from them isn't a crime. Why have you never once taken the wallet of a biter that you've beaten to death? Okay, I'll recover the bag, but there's no calling in the evac until I say so. When I bring back the money, I'm taking the radio. That is unacceptable. Yeah, but you'll accept it anyway, because you have no choice. You're worse than cream. Very well. I accept your terms. In location, in, in city, full of zombies, it is very hard to distinguish someone who is bad from someone who is good. Because we are the good guy, right? We are doing pretty shitty things sometimes. Uh, but, you know, comparing us to Karim, I don't know if that is fair comparison. And of course that will work out as we expect, we'll of course get out of the city. Like, if we were even thinking about it for one moment of this episode, that we'll be going out of Errol. Like, no spoilers and so on, but it is just not possible. Oh, we cannot go here. Oh, we've got to go. Okay, okay, I remember right now. We've got to go from down here. That's shitty. Okay, okay. So Edward is pretty shitty guard then. If we cannot take on few biters. God damn it. Okay, okay. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, for sure that would be 25 million. If you believe politicians, politicians, then you are just dumb. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, let's go. Especially in a situation like that, when you are threatening them. That will for sure work out quite well, Crane. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, that's one of the rice soldiers. Oh, nice detail. Because we killed quite a lot of them here. So I guess that's pretty uh, pretty nice detail that they are here and something that I was expecting from the game okay uh, okay something else that we can loot let's see we've got the that locker absolutely nothing inside Empty, of course yep Okay, okay, I'm sure that that will work out. Let's get out. Sorry, Karel. I had no choice. Kareem said I was a fool to trust you. It's not what you think. I would have taken you with me. I contacted the evac when you were off getting the paint. I had to tell who would be on board, so I gave them your name. Now, I don't know who you are, but they knew. Oh, 
Yeah, that's very shitty what he did, but... Like, come on, we're we expecting something else. Okay, no. Oh, that's a pretty good one. So let's not destroy that. Let's destroy that. And let's... Let's see, let's destroy that. Beautiful, let's repair that weapon. Oh, get out of here. Okay, okay. We are just destroying them left and right. Okay, okay. Let's see something that we can pick up. Of course, there are some zombies that we can kill. Why not? Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Let's loot everything that we can. Okay, okay, nice. Quite a lot of loot, so that's great. I mean, we could go and look f around the school. I believe that quite a big location is right now opened for us. But do we really want to do it? I don't think so. Let's just go to the roof. Okay, okay, up we go. To the roof. Hello. Okay, okay, screw it. Uh, I don't remember how to go there. Through here. Yep. Hello, hello. Uh, let's see. A little bit too far. Oh, here we go. Let's go. And we are out. And yeah. Of course it wouldn't work out because we've got mission to do. Crane, come on. Oh. Where did it seem that? Oh, but nothing respawned. Okay, okay. Screw it. Okay, okay, let's get out. Beautiful weather. Exactly the weather that you like to see when someone just fucked you. With no lubricant. God damn it. Hello, Crane. How's your day been? Oh, here we are. Let's talk. I thought we had an understanding. I think we have a better understanding now. But if you want to shoot me... Another time, maybe. He did leave you a few goodies. I was going to nick them, but I thought, no, Crane's ordered them. Let him have them. Well, you're almost okay, Kareem. <laughs> almost. Until next time. Good luck, Kareem. Exactly. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Let's open up what we can. Uh, so, yeah. That's another option for getting few drops. So, that's great. In the times that we live in right now, when we can't really get any other drops other than those that are spawning via quests or via, you know, just on the map, being on the map, it's pretty good that we have that ability to to find that. Let's destroy that one. Okay, the okay, champion, beautiful, and one more drop. Nice. Okay, the okay. Beautiful, nothing else, nothing else. Okay, the okay. So right now, I think that we'd like to go here because that is very close to us. Okay, the okay. Let's go. And we'll have that recipe for that that bomb that is doing quite a lot of damage and it's doing quite a big explosion. So that might be useful for later. Oh baby, that was good. That was really, really good. Okay, hello Kurt, how are you doing? Sugar, not the cleanest. Doesn't matter, we're making a bomb, not a cup of tea. Alright, we've got everything. Give me some time. I'll let you know when I'm done. Oh, now we've got to wait. I forgot about that. Okie dokie, uh, let's bring those crayons to Kate. And that should be relatively... Oh, shit. 
And that should be a relatively easy thing to do. And after that we'll go to that bus station. Because I think that we've got enough time for cleaning that location out of zombies. Oh, come on. Let's go. Okay, okay. And back to the tower we go. Oh, I will be here we'll also leave all of those drops that we just grabbed to the quartermaster. I'm sure that he will be happy that in the city that no drops are coming right now too, we managed to secure few. And that's quite good if you ask me. Okay, okay. Hello, hello. Let's see, you wouldn't believe what I found. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, let's see what we can grab. Not that, that's for sure. But a few other things. Uh, let's see, let's go to Kate. Oh, we've got to go up. Uh, okay, let's go then. Uh, there is also a shop upstairs. So that should be a problem for us. Uh, we can sell our stuff there. Uh, okay, okay. Come on, let's get out. It was very, fa very fast loading time. Very nice. Uh, okay, the okay, and she's somewhere up here, but shop is here. Let's talk. Uh, let's see, do I want something? Let's see. Household supplies would be good, but also string is very useful. Thank you very much. We can sell everything else, I believe. Uh, okay, the okay, you can sell all of those, those, and that, and that, and that majority also. Uh, okay, okay, that should be good. Uh, I don't even know why I'm still collecting so many weapons when one I wh why I am selling them later, because clearly I don't have a need for that right now. But screw it. Okay, okay, she's somewhere here. Hello, hello. You found some crayons. Oh, fantastic! You're the best. The kids are gonna lose their minds, but in a good way. Here, take this. You'll make better use of it than I will. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, and we've got survival rank up. Beautiful. Let's go down, and we've got new outfit. Beautiful headhunter. Nice, I guess. That's nice. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go in here. We'll distribute that one skill point that we just grabbed. In just a moment, after we ride down that elevator. Okay, okay. Let's go. And let's distribute that point. Okay, okay. Let's go. What we would like to get. I think that one would be quite useful. Right? Uh, oh, more damage. Oh, that's hard choice. Let's go with that. Okay, uh, okay. So right now we would like to go with that quest from the brothers. That might be a very shitty quest to do, but screw it. Uh, okay, okay. We've got still a little bit of time for that episode, so I think that will be good to go. And one way to go with that quest is to, you know, kill every possible zombie that is there. That is a very good location for killing a lot of zombies. Because there are quite a lot of oil spills, if I remember that correctly. Uh, quite a lot of barrels and so on. So a lot of locations, a lot of environment traps that you can use against zombies. So that's very good, right? But also you can just kill one zombie. Use that beautiful camouflage ability that we are using quite a lot. And you know, just pick up what you need. That camouflage is lasting like one minute, two minutes, some something like that. So we'll have quite a lot of time for checking out that location because I think there are like five, six buses that we've got to search, so I think that we'll be able to do it during that time, if it will be fast enough, of course. Okay, uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see that bus stop. Where the hell is that? 
Okay, okay. We should be good to go if we we'll just run straight through here. I think. Or not really. Okay, look, you can run around like that. But a bus stop is location that I really like to farm, uh, well, to kill zombies and farm all the, all the resources that they are giving us and also uh, all, all, the, all the experience, all the loot. Oh. oh, nice. Okay, I'll see you there. So as I, I was trying to say, bus station is a very good location for farming and uh, killing zombies. <laughs> Uh, you've got also this location inside here where there are quite a lot of things to search up. So, very nice location to check out. Okie dokie. But screw it, we'll be not checking that out right now. Uh, let's see. Okie dokie. Let's get that zombie. And Camouflage time, let's go. Beautiful. Now let's see. We've got to search up those buses. But I don't exactly remember in what location we have to search. Not here. On the front of that bus? Probably. Okay, okay. One of them we will have to open up using our left pick. Okay, okay, let's go. Beautiful. Yeah, we've got to lock pick that one. Okay, okay, shit. Okay, 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 come on. Nice, let's go in before they will attack us. Okay, okay, nice. We got our first battery. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's see, we got to open that one. Nope. Let's go. Second battery, nice. Okay, okay, right now up we go. Hello. And beautiful. There is another one that is spitting. Okay, okay, nice. There are also virus coming our way. But screw it. Okay, okay, let's see. Which ones we have already checked? And which ones we haven't really checked? Let's see. Okay, okay, let's try to check out that one once again. Okay, okay. Nope, not really. Okay, okay. Where is that last battery? We checked out that one. Yep. Uh, oh, we've got to lockpick that one. Oh, that might be a shitty thing to do. Oh, or not really. Let's go. Oh, come on. How did you manage to, to find me? Oh, come on. Get out. What the hell happened? Oh, we just went into the fire. God damn it. Of course. Okay, okay. Let's go once again. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really looking at my health and I wasn't really looking where are we running. Holy oh, shit. This is just a good recipe for getting yourself killed. Okay, okay. Let's see, now it would be wise idea to kill one zombie. Get that beautiful camouflage working. Oh, or let's just go like that. Let's hope that we can be fast enough. Okay, okay, nice. Let's go. Third battery. Nice. Okay, okay. Now back to the twins we go. 
Uh, let's see, that should be a really, really fast thing that we can do. Just have to run around. Uh, okay, okay. That will be a little faster with that grappling hook, that's for sure. Okay, okay, we are a little bit over one hour already, but screw it. Uh, I don't really care that much. Okay, okay. Besides, after going with that quest, no, with that previous episode, I think that that is just not a big difference. Okay, okay, let's let's go. Here your batteries. Better check them for bite marks. <laughs> Well done. Ah, no problems with the counting part of the mission? How much more do you need to do on this project of yours? None of your business. Goodbye. Okay, Doki, thank you. Now going back to Kurt. Uh, let's see, he is somewhere in this direction. And that is that should be relatively uh, close by. Let's see, I believe that. It is right around the corner. Let's see. Uh, yup. Uh, okay, okay. Beautiful. What I have done, I don't really know. But we did something. Uh, okay, okay. Let's go in. Beautiful. Kurt, I've got something that you needed. I mean, you've got something that I need. Let's go. You got a bomb for me? I've got the prototype. It's on the table, ready to be tested. There's a barricaded tunnel nearby. It's chock full of volatiles during the day, but at night it should be pretty clear. You won't find a better place to test a bomb. Okay, I'll try the tunnel and let you know how it went. One more thing. Remember about the firecrackers. The bomb will go off as soon as they're done popping. That's how much time you have to get the hell away. Good luck. Okay, okay, that might be interesting. Uh, what? We haven't picked up the bomb? That's the bomb. But we will do it in the next episode, as you can probably guess. So that will be it for right now. I would like to thank you all for watching, and of course, see you in the next one. Bye bye.